Welcome to today's edition of Global Visitor. I'm Chang Yuan in Beijing. This edition of Global Visitor will present you a fresh look into colorful cultures and lifestyles from around the world. Today, we'll first enjoy the Russian door, the Matryoshka. Then we'll go to New York for a unique quilt exhibition. After that, we'll visit an Egyptian museum. Our last stop is Lebanon for the historic wax museum. Matryoshka is one of the few Russian words that every foreigner recognizes. It's the symbol of Russian art. The symbol of Russia and its culture, also a symbol of Russian art, is the Matryoshka doll or Matryoshka. The wooden doll with a surprise feeling, Matryoshka, is one of the few Russian words that every foreigner recognizes. However, there are still many things about it that remain a secret, even in the doll's mother. The Matryoshka dolls, or simply a Matryoshka, is nested dolls with two halves that can be pulled apart. The outer finger including the smaller version of itself. The largest figure is usually on the order 530 cm tall. The smallest can be so thin, less than one half of centimeters. The Russian Matryoshka doll came to Russia from Japan at the end of the 19th century. At that time, Matryona or Matryoshka was among the most popular names for Russian girls. A well-loved toy in its Irish times, it became an international celebrity when it made its debut at the Paris exhibition of 1900. From the largest girl to the smallest girl in the set, they look similar, but not necessarily identical. The outer doll can wear in costume in the red, the second in the blue, the third in the green. All they can wear in costume the same, but each girl has to carry the something different in her hand. The basic technique of matryoshka making remains unchanged and demands a huge amount of time and effort. Hand painting may take from 3 minutes to 3 hours or even weeks and months of work. The artists use a tempera paint, oil paint and gold leaf. Water colors are also used, but it's more expensive because it's difficult uh, technique. In the painting, artist style most important. Uh, individual artists are able to select theme, story or the character of the doll. In addition to the finely detailed painting, many matryoshkas include poker work. This technique of burning the wood was used to outline and further define various elements of the painting, such as the face, hair, or the design on the character's scarf, etc. Right now we have a couple questions to the Sergei. He is the director of a Matryoshka Art Studio. How do you see the future of Matryoshka? Nowadays, many masters 
change the form and the content of Matryoshka. But I think that it still will stay the most popular and the most favorite symbol of Russia. Which is your favorite model of Matryoshka? It was the Matryoshka based on a Russian fairy tale Repka. It was one of my first Matryoshkas, a very bright and a very interesting and unusual rememberable souvenir. It is essential that the full set of Matryoshka be made from one piece of wood because the expansion contraction characteristics and moisture content of the wood are unique. Wood engravings were traditionally used in printing. Sometimes artists carved a piece of wood so that the raised surface had the design. I have been carving not only matryoshkas, also Easter eggs, icons, various kind of boxes. But now I mostly specialize on matryoshkas. After the pictures are ready, dolls are covered by several layers of lacquer. Many dolls get as many as seven layers of lacquer to be considered a ready product. After 15 minutes, master collected lacquer and dry the matryoshka dolls around four hours. He have to repeat it uh, three days. The production of Matryoshka dolls experienced a huge upsurge with the collapse of the Soviet Union and the greater availability of Russian products to a worldwide audience. Matryoshka dolls are highly prized by collectors. Essentially, they have become artistic works auctioned through Sotheby's and other leading auction houses, with far less expensive versions sold to tourists and as toys. Clearly, interest in Matryoshka dolls is well established and has come to represent Russian culture. In the future, it remains to be seen whether the availability of skilled artists can meet the demand.